into the swing of things with Tea Time on Time Warner Cable Sports. Join golf historian Doug Lonstrom for an inside look at the golf clubs and courses that call the Capital Region home. Improve your game with tips from the pros. Get fit and get in touch with the rules of the game. Explore the vast history and mysteries of the game of golf. Grab your clubs and your remote and tune in for Tea Time on Time Warner Cable Sports. Welcome to Tea Time, brought to you by Wells Fargo Advisors on Time Warner Cable Sports. I'm Doug Lonstrom, your host and a golf historian. Today we're at beautiful Airway Meadows, a few miles north of Saratoga Springs. I love this place. I'm a pilot. We have a runway here. You land right in the middle of the golf course. I've flown in here. It's a great place to come, fly your plane, and go play golf, and then fly home. It doesn't get any better than that. We'll have our regular features, the pro tip and rule, the history minute, the mystery minute, the golf term. Pete Doherty will be here from the Times Union with his comments. Had a chance to have a little discussion with Ben Chukro from the Wells Fargo Advisors Group here in Saratoga. And I had a chance to sit down with Jamie Heber to talk about the history of Airway Meadows. Well, actually in the mid-80s, uh, I got a gift certificate for, to fly for Christmas. And uh, I went and took, took it, fell in love with flying, uh, got my license. Uh, Next thing I did, I decided I wanted to, you know, land my plane at uh, at our family farm here, built the runway. Uh, then uh, decided I had to find out, find some way to finance all these, uh, you know, luxuries I had of, of flying into my own backyard. So I built a hangar and I paved the runway so we could actually rent space out to, to basically pay the taxes and make it affordable. And uh, flying over the farm. One day, decided that uh, you know, got to do something with the land. The taxes are getting getting kind of hard. Uh, not making very much money with the uh, beef cows, and uh, decided to build a golf course. And here we are. Yeah. <laughs> and you designed the course yourself? Yes. Uh, basically, we, we went up. Yeah, we designed it. We went up uh, uh, 10,000 feet. Took an aerial photo. Uh, uh, put it on, uh, basically, put it on, a, put it on a wall, put it on a piece of paper, uh, scaled it to, to what we know, uh, uh, you know, no measurements, and uh, laid it out uh, from that. And uh, of course, knowing being on this land my whole life, because it was a family farm, I knew every gully, every bump, every thing on, on, on it anyway. So uh, we went from there, and uh, and this is what we got today. Now, what's it like to play golf and have the airplane landing right next to you? Now, you also have several promotions and you do things, special things for junior golfers. Yes, we do. Um, for junior golf, uh, we have special rates, uh, lower rates. We do have junior memberships too, so we have a handful of junior members this year. Hello, I'm Brian Rhodes, PGA Teaching Professional at Airway Meadows Golf Course. And I'd like to share with you the tip of the week brought to you by the Northeastern New York section of the PGA. I'd like to talk to you about junior golf today. Here at Airway Meadows Golf, we offer a variety of junior programs. And I'll be honest with you, uh, with all my duties as a PGA professional, this is by far the most enjoyable part of my job, is working with young people and bringing them to the game. Behind us is one of our four-day summer camps. We also have the opportunity to take our kids on the golf course here through our league programs. And we have Sunday clinics here year-round. Parents come to me frequently and ask, hey Brian, what's the best way I can get my kid going in golf? And over the years I've developed a short little checklist to share with those parents. And here's some of the things that we like to have you think about. Equipment, number one. When you start your kid in golf, make sure you start them with a decent set of junior golf clubs. Junior golf clubs will be light, flexible, and they should be the proper length for your child. Under no circumstances, you should not give your child a set of adult cut down clubs. They'll be far too stiff and far too heavy and it's a sure way to ruin their golf swing. Second question I frequently get is at what age is instruction appropriate? 
We generally recommend an age of six or so to start your child in formal instruction. And we recommend that you visit a golf course in your area, inquire of the PGA professional what junior programs they have to offer, and turn them over to a qualified professional. Again, under no circumstances should you take the instruction into your own hands, as that can often create uh, tensions between you and your child. So get them into a good golf program with a qualified professional. Third question I often get asked is, how do I keep my junior's interest in golf going? Well, your main responsibility is just to get them out to the golf course. Give them every opportunity you can to play and practice, and don't get overly involved in teaching them yourselves. As you can see our kids behind us here, they're in the short game area. Last tip, let them work on their putting, chipping, and pitching. It's in that area that a kid learns to get the ball to the target with a golf club. Hello, I'm Brian Rhodes. PGA Teaching Professional here at Airway Meadows Golf Course. Today we're doing the rule of the week. Today we're going to be discussing uh, shots played from outside the teeing ground or shots played from the wrong tee. That's rule 11-4 and 11-5 in the rule book. We've just seen Andrew and Ben out playing golf and Andrew has teed up his ball within the white tee markers and hit his shot from there. Unfortunately, Ben and Andrew are playing from the blue tees today. So how do we proceed under rule 11-4, 11-5. In match play, Andrew does not incur a penalty for playing from outside the teeing ground. However, his opponent, Ben, may immediately require him to re-hit the shot from within the teeing ground. If not, the ball is played as it lies and the shot stands. In stroke play, Andrew has automatically incurred a penalty of two shots. The correction and hitting from the property must be done before he finishes the hole, proceeds to the next tee, and tees off. If the mistake is not corrected and he tees off in the next hole, the penalty is disqualification. Any strokes that Andrew has played with his golf ball being struck from the wrong tee do not count in his final score. That's our show for today from beautiful Airway Meadows. A great place to play golf, but an even better place to fly your plane and then play golf. You can't beat that. Wells Fargo Advisors is our premier sponsor, and we were pleased to have them on our show. Today we had an interview with Ben Chuckrow, one of their top managers. If you need some financial advice, give them a call. They're great. Viewer comments drive the show, so please email us your comments and suggestions. We use them on every show. Our email address is on the screen, and remember, fairways always.